In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the option one where you can add the icon, the option number and the detail text. When I click, it will show me the option number two with different color. Option three, option four, option five, option six, seven and option eight. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow, just click it here. Go to the shape format, make the height and width as 4, align center, align middle, then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle and give some different color here. And here I'm going to make the width as 0.8 and the height as 4.7 and make sure to align center, align middle. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. You can give some different color here. Then make sure to align center, align middle. And then I'm going to rotate it using the Alt and uh, pressing the right arrow key three times. Okay, so Alt and one, two and three times. Okay, and press Ctrl D once again. It got duplicated again. Alt, one, two and three. Again, press Ctrl D. It got duplicated again. One, two and three right once this is done once this is done go to insert shapes select the rectangle once again and draw a smaller rectangle here you can see here more smaller maybe this much size and then align center align middle press ctrl d again align center align middle and i'm going to repeat the same step to rotate so alt and one two and three times press ctrl d again alt one two and three press ctrl d alt one two and three okay so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this now i'm going to duplicate this slide so if something goes wrong we have a backup copy all right so now let me just select all the objects or you can press ctrl a also to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shape and click on the fragment so here this is where our time consuming uh, process will start so what i'm going to do is first of all inside this circle hollow water the objects are there i'm going to select and i'm going to delete okay one by one you need to just select within the circle remember within the circle not outside the circle so i'm just going to select and delete select delete you can see here I'm just deleting one by one or you can just highlight also and delete so whichever way you feel better so I'm just going to do one by one only just highlight and delete okay so you can see here let me just highlight this now delete so here also deleted all right now come here from the top and delete this one in the center also there is one more delete okay like this you need to delete one by one because control z so make sure that you should not delete anything else apart from what i am doing here what i am deleting okay make sure no other object should be deleted this is some time consuming job but the results will be very good okay press ctrl z again select the middle one sorry it's difficult to select or you can just zoom in a little bit and easily this one you can do it easily like this all right so here also you can see here and done i believe so i have deleted all here one remains 
okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to group one by one this one okay so this particular object hold select the shift key select this one this one this one this one and here also the smaller one it is there so here you can see here the smaller one that also we need to select so i'm going to select that first hold the shift key select this 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 and this go to the shape format merge shape and make it a union and before that one make sure to make it no outline okay so let me just select all press ctrl a to select all go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline okay now this will be easier for you to select the objects all right so let me just select this this and go to the shape format merge shape and union so it becomes one shape here you can see that one's so the same thing i just need to do the same here i can select like this also you can see here i can just highlight and shape format merge shape and union so it becomes union but this was not selected so i can select this also and union it okay so let me just go here this is not selected yeah so now again make it a union so likewise just we need to select one by one and union it all right i know it is a bit time consuming job but so this also goes here and union it and then the last two remains again make it a union and then the last one yeah so you can see here we have made all the unions now depending on the requirement you can just give any color of your choice so you can just go here and can give any color of your choice so i'm just going to give some random colors here whichever color you prefer you can just add it on to this so you can see here and this one will go here and this will go here all right so this colors has been done the next step is to add some icons and the detailed text. So let's go to insert, click on the icons and choose some icons which are relevant to your requirement. So in this case, I'm just going to choose some random icons here. So I'm going to choose eight random icons. Okay. So six, seven and eight. Click insert move this aside and make the height and width as 0.5 and then start putting one by one on each of these options you can see here then this comes then this avocado comes here and again select this one and make sure to give the color as white all right and then you can just select one by one and group it once again so you can see this and press ctrl g and one by one you can group it all right so select this and this press ctrl g this and this so one by one you can just select and give the grouping all right so grouping is done and then go to the insert text box you can add option 01 make it bold move it aside and go go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and i don't want this much large text delete the text reduce the font size font color i'm going to give a kind of a gray and again if the option ones is blue color so we can just go and give the same blue color here all right select both of these make sure to align left press ctrl g to group it 
hold the control shift key so second third and fourth if it is not fitting just make it up and then hold the control shift key bring this to right and then change the text here so this is option two option three option four five six and seven eight all right so this is option number eight and then you can do a small animations you can go to the animations enable the animation pane you can select this one add animation more entrance effects click on basic zoom click ok and this option should be add animation more entrance effects click on stretch click ok stretch should be from left and should happen after previous so if i play it happens something like this now i'm just going to copy the animation painter here and then this comes like this so if i play now it will come something like this now you can just copy the animation to the rest of the options